So a while back, I was out walking with my five-year-old son, and I noticed he was looking intently at the ground in front of him. So I asked him, what are you you're looking at? And he says, I have these goggles. They're invisible, can't see them, Mom, but they're red. And with them, I can track animals. And it turns out he had this entire imaginary world painted to him where he could track animals. And it just dawned on me that we have a new generation ready for this kind of experience. We, we say we're ready too, but that generation is ready now. Immersive communications is one of the most jaw-dropping experiences that is coming the way of both us as humans and telecom. I think a lot of the buzz around immersive communications is on the device side. That's, of course, super important. We need devices that are small, capable, fun to wear, cool to wear. But equally important, and if you ask me, maybe even more important, is preparing the networks, is enabling the networks to carry this kind of service. So I think the telecom world is standing on the brink of a really transformative change. As of today, XR is evolving really rapidly. We see new headsets launch more and more frequently, and the headsets are getting smaller and smaller. We do believe, though, that in a not too distant future, we'll see devices that are the size of your regular sunglasses, that you can just wear as anything, and it gives you this kind of experience anywhere. So to get these kind of experiences in wide areas, not just confined to your home or your office, we need to build out the networks. We need to cater for this kind of latency-sensitive, uplink-hungry service. But that's not the only thing we need to do. We also need to look at the business models. This kind of service will put unprecedented requirements on the networks. So we need to ensure that we build business models also for catering to that service. This is a natural evolution. And it's an evolution that we need to realize it's happening and it's happening fast. This is not a question of if, this is a question of when. So give it a couple of years and we'll see mass adoption of immersive communications. <laughs>